DARPA is interested in exploring the space of swarm technologies, really to harness the complexity of the swarm and be able to leverage it for a warfighter benefit. The Service Academy Swarm Challenge is an event that we're having with the three military service academies. That's West Point, the Military Academy, the Naval Academy, and the U.S. Air Force Academy to go from zero to swarm in about eight months over the course of a capstone design sequence. We're providing them with the infrastructure the hardware, much of the software, and a lot of the know-how to get them started and see what they can innovate once they have those resources in hand. And we'll be expecting them to be able to demonstrate live fly swarm capabilities at the end of that sequence. What we're interested in is understanding the nature of offensive and defensive swarm tactics. And we have a chance here with the Service Academy students to go and explore that space. We can engage with these cadets and midshipmen who will ultimately be future military leaders and decision makers in a fast-moving, rapidly changing technological landscape of which swarm technologies are a part of. The other piece here is that they provide a rather unique perspective. They'll not have seen swarm technologies, perhaps not much in their classroom, certainly not in any operational context, and they'll bring a brand new perspective on how one might actually use these swarm technologies in a competition, somewhat of a controlled experimental context. And those are the types of insights that we can learn from and potentially expand upon to enhance the capabilities of these swarm systems. This is one of the first opportunities where we can start to understand the interactions between these swarms versus other swarms. Much of the research out there has focused on the ability to get that one swarm aloft to be able to demonstrate basic capabilities such as formation and pattern keeping. I think what the swarm versus swarm context here provides us is the notion that we have to think more about the tactics, the types of behaviors that a commander might be interested in for operational benefit. It's not the platform, it's not the link or the communications, it's about the behaviors and I think that's one of the key takeaways for the Service Academy Swarm Challenge, is that we're really zeroing in on swarm tactics as the unit that we want the academies to focus on. And I think that's where future advances will really reap innovative benefits going forward for the operational warfighter. The Service Academy Swarm Challenge is an experiment at its heart. This is a chance for the cadets and midshipmen to go and explore this novel technology, this innovative capability that we're trying to provide and see what they learn. And not only will they learn, but so will we, DARPA and the entire community that's interested in swarm technologies throughout this experiment. What we've done with the Service Academy Swarm Challenge has planted the seed for this type of research, this organic capability to go out and do these types of swarm field tests that has now drawn the attention of other service partners to go and actually sponsor research at these three service academies, totally independently and organic, uh, separate from what we've done here at DARPA. So now we have a national resource where we now have three swarm-ready, swarm-capable universities able to conduct research that's unique across the country. Thank you.